Hello and welcome. Now we all love a good running day or bus rally, don't we? It gives us an opportunity to ride on preserved vehicles that we don't always see and catch up with the restoration process as well. It also gives us an opportunity to see more modern, maybe in service vehicles as well that are outside the area that we normally live in and again, ones that we don't see very often. And from a bus owner's perspective, I can tell you that it's great fun taking your old vehicle along to one of these events. You get to meet people who remember driving it and travelling on it in service, and you get to hear all sorts of stories. And it's nice seeing the memories that the vehicles bring back to people. It's also nice catching up with your like-minded vehicle-owning friends who sometimes you don't see very often from one show to another during the summer months and it's just a phone call here and there during the winter months. But if I was to tell you there was a darker side to bus rallies, would you believe me? And to be fair, would you really want to know? Well, if you do, stay tuned. If you don't, look away now. The sort of thing that I am talking about is the behaviour of certain so-called bus enthusiasts. Now before I go on, dear viewer, please let me assure you that I'm not talking about beautiful, wonderful people like yourselves. I'm talking about the sort of people who go on to buses uninvited and when the bus is left unattended and locked and shut up, they force their way on there. They climb in the cab, they fiddle with the controls. And in some cases, they remove the badges off the front and the back, the manufacturing badges, and steal those. They're also the type that want to get the 110th picture of the same route master at the same event. And if somebody happens to walk in front of the camera as they're taking the picture, they scream and shout and jump up and down like a toddler that's just had a toffee apple removed from its mouth. Even if the person who inadvertently has wandered into the shot is the vehicle owner returning to the vehicle after having a wander around the show themselves. And they've spent thousands of pounds on the restoration and potentially up to hundreds of pounds in diesel bringing the bus to the event that day. Now you might think I'm being a bit melodramatic but reports like this crop up quite a lot on the owner's pages on Facebook. And talking to lots of bus owners as I do, a lot of them have encountered at least one type of this behaviour at some point. And even I've returned to my bus at some point to find it absolutely full of uncontrolled children or people sat downstairs chatting. And this sort of behaviour is making bus owners feel like they don't want to bring their vehicles to these sort of running days and bus rallies. Which is a shame, but at the same time it's totally understandable. Personally, I've always been more of a fan of taking my vehicles to the steam shows and the country fairs. There's not just buses at these shows, there's much more variety. You normally have steam engines, you have military vehicles, classic commercials and the classic car enthusiasts as well. And just because yours is possibly the only bus on the whole show ground doesn't mean that it doesn't get the attention that it deserves. People at these shows tend to be much more appreciative of the vehicles that you bring along. And the bus still generates a huge amount of nostalgia amongst the people who come to see it. And you'll have people who own the old classic commercial vehicles will come up to you and they'll talk to you about owning a vehicle with a Gardner 180 in the back of it and things like that and it generates much more interest in a wider spectrum and some of the better shows are held over a long weekend and it gives you the opportunity to camp inside or alongside your bus now I'm not suggesting you go all Cliff Richard and install a kitchen and Unistubs 
but you can quite happily spend the night on the back seat with a sleeping bag. And during the evening, a lot of the shows will let you sit down next to your vehicle and have a barbecue once all the visitors have gone home. It's a really, really nice atmosphere, trust me. And it sounds strange, but you build quite a bond with your vehicle when you do things like this. And it's quite cosy when you're laying there, tucked up nice and warm. Now, I'm not saying these shows are without problems. Sometimes the fun fair will attract undesirables, especially if it's running late into the night. And if you don't secure the vehicle, you can come back to find families sitting on there and kids running riot all over it. But the fact that you're living and sleeping on the vehicle for the weekend or next to the vehicle for the weekend tends to mean that you make it much more secure. There's always a way to barricade and block doors from being opened from the outside. So do I think this is the end of the bus rally and the bus running day? Well, I hope not as I enjoy them as much as you do. But if we can encourage some of the great unwashed to behave themselves and not take liberties with other people's vehicles, things will probably be okay and maybe we can encourage some of the owners to come back to these shows. So what's your favourite show that you've been to? What's your favourite event, either as a vehicle owner or as an enthusiast? Do you think the days of the bus rally and the traditional running day are numbered? And have you encountered any of this sort of behaviour yourself? I'm always interested to hear your experiences. And I'm not a gambling man, but I wouldn't mind putting a few quid on the fact that at least one comment appears down in the comments below saying that yes, they have encountered this sort of behaviour. As for me... My big cat is now guarded by a guard dog. I hope you have enjoyed this food for thought video. If you do, please subscribe to the channel as you will receive notifications when I make further releases in this and in my other series. Also, please like and share this video amongst your unsuspecting friends and family. And don't forget to check out my other videos here on YouTube. There's quite a few of them on there to keep you going for a little while. Thanks for watching, bye for now.